Cost of the Search Authority. And today we are looking at sourcing links. And sourcing links is an awesome tool um, and it has various flavors. So we're going to kind of look at them a little bit again. And then I'm going to go into detail. I'm even going to show you what the gold one looks like. So you got bronze, free, silver, 30 a month, gold, 40 a month, soon platinum, which will be 50 a month. But let's look at what it really gives you. Let's come down here. Let's think about this for a minute. In bronze, you have a possible of 246 places to do things, searches, whatever you'd like to call it. There's 11 search engines available to you. There's 18 pre-constructed x-rays for you. Of course, pre-constructed, and I'll show you with the gold version how that works. 19 custom search engines, um, 13 ways to find emails, 13 for real names, usernames, and so on. I mean, you can see here, I don't see a reason to really, you know, show this. The silver version more than doubles that. You now have 29 search engines. And I know what you're thinking. Do I really need 29? Yeah, you actually do. You'd be surprised. There are things Bing finds that, that um, Google doesn't, vice versa. There's things other search engines find that they don't find. You'd be surprised. It jumps from 18 sourcing capabilities to 147. That's huge. CSEs more than double. Email just finding adds nine. Now you might think, well, why do I, do I really need that many? Yeah, you'd be surprised how long and how hard it takes to match emails to people or validate an email or whatever it is you want to do. Some tools will validate certain emails, some won't. Yeah, you know, you got to have the capabilities. Real name searches, it doubles. Username searches adds four. Telephone stuff, it adds 40, uh, 35, and so on and so forth. As you can see, it's substantially better. Now the gold. The gold is, right now, until the platinum goes out, the joint. 738 an additional of what is that 229 50 search engine capability 197 sourcing and x-raying 48 custom search engines and by the way that will include military veteran stuff like security clearance and everything 35 places for email 62 for a real name i use this tool almost exclusively and i use all of it 40 usernames 56 eight for word lookups, three for salary information, and so on and so forth, as you can see. And then when the platinum comes out, well, that's going to be the big thing. And when the platinum comes out, um, you're going to get the addition of Boolean tools and medical searching and legal searching. Now, that's not to say you can't use the, the searching and x-ray stuff to do medical and legal, but those are specific. So kind of let's get into it. This is what it looks like. This is the gold version. As you can see, it's got quite a few search engines. It's real simple. Populate and then populate all and you pick where you want to search. How cool is that? Instead of having to recopy, re or paste or retype, it's done. You can use it to search names, email addresses, everything you want from here. You can search resumes if you like to just do your own thing. It's fine. Email addresses. As you can see, quite a few. Quite a few. Um, I am using an email, uh, a, a tool that keeps an eye on stuff, that's why it's there. And if you go ahead and you pop in an email, I'm gonna use my own populate, you can check all these places for emails to see if it's the right person, to see if it belongs. But let's do what happens if we do a LinkedIn search. Uh, X-ray into LinkedIn and there, bam, Dean's right there. Quick, simple, and easy. Again, gold version. Remember, some of these are not available on the other version. This is the gold. Silver might work for you. Um, so go on. Real names, again, you got a real name, you gotta find it, you got all these searches. Um, so let's go here, Dean and DaCosta. Now, my name is actually two words, but a lot of these legacy systems don't do that. So we're going to populate and look at all these places we can search here and here. Look at them. Let's do uh, true people. Quick true people. Boom. That's not me. That's me. I live in Kent. And if you open up my email, my phone number, and a whole bunch of other information, there, including an unlisted phone number. So this so far, really cool. Usernames. I've said it many times, people are creatures of habit. They use a username in more than one place. They may have an email. They probably have many websites associated with it. This is how you search. Telephone numbers. The biggie. You can search telephone numbers to make sure it's the right number. Image searches. You know, you enter a URL of an image and see if it's the right person. Document searches. Well, as you can imagine, you can put in the word resume and Java, fill them all up, pick a search, pick a document. Pasting sites. These are links to tools that will find pacing. Now, why is that important? Well, let's find out. Let's just open up one of them. And what I'm going to do immediately, you see all these different places you can do. I'm going to come down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in Dean the cost. I'm going to put it all word word. And let's see if this tool 
Oh, look at that. It found stuff on me with cell phone. Look at all this information about me that's hidden in these pacings. Pace sites are like online um, notepads, location searches. You can put in an address and find out. Excuse me, I jumped up to the wrong place. My bad. Location, try this again. You can put here and you can put in the address and see who belongs to you. I have an address. You're not sure it's them. There you go. Business and government. Your research. You want to look up information about governments? You want to see who's doing layoffs? You want to see all the stuff? Here you go. Put in the name of a put in the name of a company and go from there. We'll do Expedia. Let's pick one of these. Eeny, meeny, miny. Yeah, let's see what tech maps got. It happens to be one of my favorites. And let's see what we got. It puts Expedia. It searches. It gives me a map where it's at and a whole bunch of other information. There you go. And once you're here, you can go up here and do other things. So there you go. It did its job. Awesome. Sourcing. This is where you're going to spend your time. This is it. Right here. And I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to put Java Developer, Populate All. I'm going to come right down here to, to Facebook. We're going to open up a pre-constructed around string looking for Java Developer. And look, we found some. If you want to add location, you can add location at the end. You can add location in here. You can do it. You can modify this. But the key is you don't have to keep copy and pasting and messing with it. This will get you your start. And then you can modify all these searches as you wish. Custom search engines. Same thing. These are all built pre-built custom search engines. Some of them are for military veterans. Some for females. Some for just general. Find what you're looking for. Sites and tools. These are sites and tools that I like, that I recommend, that you can go check out. Uh, some are free, some are paid, but hey, they're there. Chrome extensions. Same thing. These are Chrome extensions. Pick if they if they you think they'll work for you. Word lookup. This is one of my favorites, and the reason this is one of my favorites is because people are always complaining what words mean and how do I write a good boolean string and what are the permutations and all this. Well, this gives you direct access to a tool called Tech Maps, which we talked about earlier, which gives you direct access to this which now gives you down to your synonyms. I can never say that word. This is your search string. All these things mean they have Java. Done over, all in one place, one site. Let's get down here. We got salary info. You want to know how much people make? Boom, boom, boom. Put in the title and go from there. Work email format. Sometimes finding their work email can lead you to something else. Remember that email place? Find the work email and search their work email. See what happens. This will get you your work email. That's it. Simple, easy peasy. And that's the gold version. Keep in mind that you have all these other versions that, you know, that can do some of this stuff. Platinum coming, be a lot bigger. Um, and interesting part is I know for a fact that there's more that's going to get added to this over the next six months or so. There's going to be probably another 40 or 50 searches capabilities. But if you can't find it here, you can't find it nowhere. And the best part is this tool can work with other tools. You can find a results uh, using a search, you can use a scraping program, data miner, scrape it down, then you can upload it into another tool to find contact info, whatever it doesn't find, you can then find yourself using this tool. It is a great tool. Highly recommend you check it out. It is at thesourcinglinks.com. My name is Dean DaCosta.